28, we'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. Uh, first thing on our agenda tonight is to review the minutes from the previous meeting. Unless anybody has any thoughts, comments, additions, corrections, I'll go ahead and uh, entertain a recommendation to approve. Motion to approve. Second. First and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Yes, Next thing on our agenda this evening is public hearing for a left final plat. So I'll go ahead and open up the public hearing. Rich, if you have any comments you'd like to make? Well, I can't just, I don't know. <coughs> For the sake of the record, if you could kind of give Linda your yeah. name and address. Rich Massey, or Massey Surveying and Engineering, Cass. And, um, I talked to David today before he left. The, whatever changes they had, that him and Brandon went through, and the changes okay. all been made okay. and everything. So I don't know that he's got the cop that had final changes made or sent to Brandon, but he got them made before okay. today. Okay. Was over, so. Anyway, I okay. know nothing else that needs to be done with that, I guess. Yeah, I can tell her. The engineer's re review and approval of the final construction plans is on the proposed resolution. So if that's taken care of, it just to check one up. Yeah. On it. yeah. Okay, Rich Massey, Massey Properties, Cass, and okay, so this is kind of an odd piece of property to begin with, and the person I purchased it from, she did, was forced to plant it before she could sell it, so she just wanted two big lots, and that's all she, she wanted to deal with it, and she was old, whatever. So <clears throat> we've been renting it for the last 10 years, now that the real estate market has come back, the plan is to, to sell that house, and then we've done, I don't know, how many different layouts we've done with either townhouses or residential lots or whatever. Right now we're kind of looking at some residential lots to put in here, but I'd like to get this house sold so i got some money to work with to do the rest of it. And that's, that's kind of the purpose of this. <coughs> Rich, do we look at this 
Was it back when you guys bought it? And we yeah, I, I, and that? I messed all around with it a little bit then. But we didn't do anything. No, because right. everything went. And with oh, the school, okay. when the school was going on, you were yeah. looking at it too. Yeah. No. Nope. And then the city was looking at it once when they were looking for a library site, from what I understand. Yep. But yep. So it's the city's fault. <laughs> <laughs> So let me ask you this. Yep. If, if, okay, say you sell this house. Yep. Is there a design or anything for an entrance to these houses off of 16? Well, or kind of, sort of, yeah. Kind of, sort of? Well, I mean, this is, I don't know, this is what I, I got copy. Yeah, yeah. Copy of it. So, you know, this, these two over here would be each have their own driveway on tip. Which I mean, that's what they have all the way along where Blaine's on and everything else. So I don't see what that's any different. On 16th, if it got to be an issue, I could do a shared driveway between the 82 foot lot and the 45 foot lot. That wouldn't be a problem. But I think I can understand that. But <coughs> do we have, Rich, you might know this, do we have a minimum um, front lot issue with the. No, 45 feet. 45 feet. So the house you'll sell and you'll end up with one, two, three, four lots. Right. And Except for those are not part of his request. No. Right. right. And the GDP is not part of a lot. Right. Minor right. subdivision either. Right. This is I asked to see it just to give us an idea of no. what might be coming, but it is class. This is Hack Miller's house. Yeah. Yep. But your the house is the boundaries that's that you have drawn in there then. Yeah. I mean it's sixteen thousand square feet, you know, it's almost twice as big as a regular lot. Here's one thing I can say. If to approve Rich's request, if it's going to spur development and growth thereafter, I have no issue with it. That's what we're all about, right? She isn't going to take and go shopping after you sell it. No. I can't answer for her. <laughs> I don't believe that's a real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have a. I agree with Lonnie. I don't. I don't have a problem with this uh, moving forward with uh, getting some more development out there on that school area. And the lot is huge compared to some of the city lots. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, Rich has brought this before us before, so we knew something was going to come up with it. So. Right, but this request is not for for a development. This request is just to break off. Yes. And I, I, I understand what okay. you're saying. I do okay. understand. Okay. But if it's going to spur more housing lots, and let me tell you, I work with this every day. We are lot starved in this town. And it's going to get worse. Very much worse. So if it's going to spur something for more lots, building lots in this town, especially by the school, I'm for it. Unless there's any more comments, we'll close the public hearing. Uh, gentlemen, thoughts, ideas? I'm hearing all positives. Yeah, not a lot of downside here. Uh, with that said, unless there's any more comment, I'll accept the motion to approve. I make that motion. Second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So then will we take this to the council with the conditions of approval that were recommended in your packet? Um, that was to provide the sidewalk along 16th Street Northeast from the ped ramp to the west along the entire front of the property mm -hmm. and to connect to the sub drain if applicable. The, the reason that is, Rich, I think it gives the kids access. No. 
There's no other sidewalk. There's no other sidewalk on 16. None. On the south side. On the south side. Not even in front of the elementary On the north school. side of 16th, you got a bike path all the way. On the west side of 5th Avenue, you got a bike path. On right. the east side by the left. elementary school, you don't even have right. a bike path. Or nothing. Right. So the Safe Routes to School plan is to create a, is to put a plan in place to do just to do just this and extend the sidewalk. But with the sidewalk, nothing. the sidewalk isn't going to connect. It will. It not immediately. No, it won't connect immediately. But this is a plan and kind of sets up a um, way to move forward to make sure that we are putting side, that we're not missing opportunities to add in the sidewalk as those opportunities become available. How about you do it as an assessment project when you assess the other owners along there? Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't I don't think we can isolate a <coughs> single property here and say, hey, we're going to... But it, but... Well, you don't have to do that. I can certainly discuss it with the council when it when it um, comes to council. Because right now it's all the way from second to fifth that they don't have sidewalks, right? right? No, I think there is some. There's a sidewalk. There's just some there. The first your first, block. that first yeah, half a block until it goes to the first crosswalk of the school. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there's some there. And wouldn't that encourage kids to be dashing across that road? Well, they already do, unfortunately. <laughs> they already do dodge across the road, so maybe it will pick up a few of them. So, so there already is a safe path on the north side of 16th. Yep. Mm -hmm. And on the east, on the west side of 5th. Which is my lot. And nothing in front of the elementary school. No sidewalk. Right. And nothing there until first block. Mm -hmm. The first block from 57 is all on a half piece. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> if I recollect right, it, it zoomed back in my mind and how that's going to affect, that's pretty steep on the one side, right? On the west side, <coughs> on the east side of the yeah, lot, but that's where the bike path is already. Right, we've already got something. And there. then the bike path is there and then the crosswalk goes, goes straight north across the road. Pretty flat right there. Yeah. So I mean, not, not a, I only worry about you know when those things go in, whether now or later, it's messed up everything here. Um, but yeah, there isn't anything there right now. Is it normally the homeowners that pay for the sidewalk to, walks to get put in? Right now, the ordinance is that they, they come in at time of uh, development of the land. So Which is what the bottom of says. That yeah. the property but that land's developed. already developed. Yeah. yeah. So, but I mean, I just remember on 6th Avenue, I don't recall us being asked to pay for sidewalks if they ended up going in, us being residents. Oh, you mean for the reconstruction project? Yeah. Oh, it, I don't know if that, would that have been part, that would have been part of the uh, cost the assessment cost. No wonder we did so much. <laughs> that, that's why when they put the sidewalks out, your assessments went way down because they took all the sidewalks off yeah. that assessment project and only put it on the one block. They're only adding sidewalks on Third Avenue. Okay. For the one block. Yeah. And only on one side too. Right? And only on one side. understand the safe routes to school plan but this isn't connecting to anything it's like a dead horse in the slot well and we don't really have any evidence of forcing that issue anyways I mean, otherwise we can be saying that we can just kind of basically go out to anybody and say we need we're possibly thinking somebody's going to come down here and we can, you need to put a sidewalk in it's different when he comes in with a general development plan if he wants to go forward with the other stuff. I'm going to get stuck with sidewalks on that part of that stuff just because mm -hmm. maybe at that point in time it might be in someone's best interest to address this situation or say for all school or moving forward, then they would have to address that. Okay. But <coughs> safe routes to school plan, this plan, mm -hmm. doesn't mean there has to be sidewalk on both sides of the street everywhere. 
No. I mean, as it long as fun. there is a safe route along 16th now, we're not straying from this. We're still providing a safe route. I think it's overkill. Well, this is also, so Safe Routes to School also looked at um, the actual patterns of how the children are coming and going. And so the idea to add sidewalks on the south side of 16th has to do with the observations that were made early in the project, early in the planning process. So it's not random. No, I get that. Right. Get and, that. and there are some kids who could get home without having to cross 16 twice if they could and continue run through yards home. like they've always done for years. If mm -hmm. they could continue uh, home. You did. <coughs> <coughs> that, you know, jump the fences. So. Right. If they could continue <laughs> home along that line. And yes, it's not perfect yet, but that's the reason to have a plan. It's much like the trail system that we have in town. It's not connected yet. But as long as we have a plan, when there's an opportunity, we can ask for the connections that we need. Question. <coughs> With this safe plan, mm -hmm. um, Coy had a pretty important point. How are we going to allocate who pays for this stuff? I mean, that's probably a really important part of this plan. What, what, what was suggested? That's this is the plan, we're in the planning phase right now, not in the implement implementation phase at this time, but when our city engineer, who's also been involved with the Safe Routes to School planning, um, saw the opportunity to add a, a section of the sidewalk there, then that's how that made it into this condition of approval. Okay. Okay. I, understand. Okay. I think I see what he's And then should someone come back with a plan to do some more development, we could get some more sidewalk. And then we can talk to the two homeowners to the west and work with them to get some sidewalk in and then start to make the connection so those kids can get home. Those elementary kids can get home without crossing 16th twice. Can't they walk in the grass? Mm -hmm. Can't they walk well, they, the you know what? There, you would not believe where they're going. <laughs> <laughs> so then what the hell good is the sidewalk going to do? It will help the elementary kids be able to get home on their side. It'll the, say that they got a place the to go, but they're still going right. to go wherever they go. That's what kids do. That's, they did watch the kids. So. This, this is the, the plan that came out of that process. So are we just waiting for a plan? I mean, there's no plan. They're, they're just in the planning. They haven't implemented it yet. They're okay. just right because you you cannot apply for dollars for um, infrastructure until you have a safe route to school plan in place. Probably shouldn't be able to like require the sidewalk till that. It's either. like having a comprehensive plan that informs decisions. It's like having a trail plan. You know that helps you. Um, make decisions and ask for the easements that you might want in order to make the connection that you need. So it's a document to help inform decisions like this. So is it an assessment then as you work down the road? Because, I mean, we have a, these lots are very it's deep. It's not in that phase yet. <coughs> so there's, there's a plan. It's, it's um, plan of assessment. Is there a utility easement on this? This doesn't there talk is. about assessment at all. There is. No, the, the plan front. does not talk front. about assessment yeah, at all. Yeah, it's a 10 footer in the line. There's a telephone, looks like there's telephone, and we know there's water. So if there's a utility easement, the city actually could put another bike path on the south side of 16th if they want to take it. Yeah. but I don't <coughs> want to throw the sidewalk at him. Are you connecting the subterrain? I got some bump. No. no. <coughs> I got city sewer. And I don't know where the, where the 
so mm -hmm. there is. But there is a pump? Just dump something. it on the lawn? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there would be any. I mean, there's a storm sewer out there. There's sketch basins, but that's the only thing. You would think there's a subterrain on the mm -hmm. each side of Bip, is it? Must be. I don't know. Say. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. Brandon I did indicate there was a subterrain. That's what I thought. Yeah. But being it isn't hooked up to sanitary, is it really required of him to hook up to a subterrain? Well, there are two things in the ordinance. One, it needs to go to the curb, or two, it needs to go to the subdrain. To the curb. To the curb. Must be, it has to be piped to the curb so it doesn't drain back mm -hmm. in. Or on someone else's property. Then it causes a nice spot mm -hmm. for the kids. You don't want to see them first. need those sidewalks. But this one, uh, Brandon indicated there is a subdrain, and then this would be the appropriate time to connect to the subdrain. Would that be an issue? Well, we can do that. Okay. The sidewalks can be an issue, though. Someone who does the sidewalks, and I guess I've got some expertise in that area. Doesn't know exactly what he's gonna, how he's gonna do, what he's gonna do across there. I think if he was were to want to develop back in there, that's gonna change a lot about sidewalks and where they would go in there. Because of the drives, thicknesses, or yeah, it's all gotta be different thicknesses. Yep. If you're to place a sidewalk in there, odds are it's going to be completely dismantled at some point. I, <coughs> I don't know if we're ready for that. I have something like that right there. Yeah. I like the idea. You know, I'm for the safe uh, way to school, but I don't know how. I don't know if we're really ready to connect everything down that way yet. I think we don't really. Know. There's too many unknowns. We don't know what we're going to do. We don't know how we're going to make people or the city accommodate for putting those in. I know, I know the plan makes sense as far as, you know, and when some, there's no better time than to basically strike while strike the iron's hot and something, somebody's going to do something, you know, that's one way to get stuff done. But I don't know if we're going to be able to, I don't know. There, there's one of Rich's neighbors I know would never pay for the sidewalk. I know. <laughs> there's no way. We still have to have a conversation about sidewalks as a single parcel of property. I think we need to look at it at a much bigger picture level before I can comment on a single, single line. Like I said, if, if the, being there's utilities not there, if the city wants to put in a bike path, on the south side to connect everything together at the city's cost. I can understand. That's my thought. If Rich is willing to hook up the subterrain, nix the sidewalk, I'm ready to go. So then I will add um, connect to the subdrain as a condition of approval at the recommendation of the council. Yes. Okay. Okay. Does anybody have any heard from that? No. I agree with Lonnie though. I think since it's safe routes to school plan, which is basically saying to put in the sidewalks, then it shouldn't be the residents paying for the sidewalks. Those are the kind of things that, like the sidewalk program was intended for for many years. That was to connect missing places. Existing. Yep. yep. In order to 
fill those places in those voids. That's why we allocated that $50,000 to, to do things like that. And I know that's there's a that's a big thing that this this plan has set out, and there's a lot of things to do with it. I mean, that's not gonna it doesn't really go that far when we start doing something like that because just on an average lot, you're probably looking at eleven hundred dollars, twelve hundred dollars minimum for, on an average house lot just for the city side lot part. You know, one hundred and ninety-eight, hundred and ten. Usually adds to a builder about eleven hundred, fifteen hundred dollars. Put the sentiment on sidewalks is really a whole over the years. I mean, it was the first four or five years I lived here. I needed to tear mine out at my ex I know, and, and it just <laughs> that, that's what got us into a lot of the predicament that we're in right now. Was when those were allowed to be yanked, and I mean, uh, <clears throat> I got called into places and hold sidewalks that were perfectly decent. And the reason being was because they didn't want to shovel. And now we've got a hodgepodge of sidewalks in town that has been a big issue to try and repair, replace, and connect again. You know, and I, that's why I understand the importance of something along there, but I don't know if that's where fair is going to be on that. We're still in the initial stages of this planning on the safe way of school, I mean, I think Rich just got caught in the first line of fire on it. <laughs> Obviously, because you didn't know about it. You know? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know if we need to step back and take a, a look at how we approach things on and who's going to pay for stuff like this. I mean, we, I think we need something more concrete. But there's options to do that with the safe routes to school as well as comprehensive plan. I think that was part of the conversation last time we came up to the time of this plan. Good beginning. Any other comments, gentlemen? We're ready to move on. Do you have what you need from us, Tracy? I've got the notes, yeah. Right. Next thing on the agenda this evening, general development plan, discussion, planning. So, so, yeah. I, we're not going to have the public <laughs> hearing, <Right>. so, okay. <laughs> we're going to su submit that letter tomorrow to for, okay, for a continuance okay. or whatever. Perfect. Okay, yeah. perfect. So. Yep. So, um, so after some discussion, um, <coughs> trying to figure out whose job it was to maybe put this on hold for a little bit, I talked to the city attorney a bit today. So um, Carter Blaine is going to just provide us with a letter asking us to put the application on hold, which will reserve the fee that he pays, and then he needs to work out some of the floodplain issues on the on the property and come back to us. So. Is there a limit time limit on that? No, there is no there is not. <coughs> uh, there would be if it was my responsibility to respond to him, but since we've requested the letter, then there will be no time limit and we can just reserve his payment. Okay. So no further discussion required? No. Nope. Safe routes to school. <coughs> so this has been um, <coughs> this is a project that um, kicked off in the spring of 2016, and um, so we're just getting to the point of finalizing the plans. Um, the school district has been involved. The county has been involved. Um, we've had Andrew Andrusco from MnDOT um, come to our meeting. We've had the city engineers, the city of Casson. So, um, despite, oh, and uh, yeah, the county, county health, county health actually applied for the grant to cover the cost of the planning process. So, um, that's how it was initiated. Um, the grant paid for a firm, uh, Alta, um, to come in and help us through the process. And this is, this is where we are. This is the plan that was presented to us earlier this month um, in a uh, webinar at the high school. Um, they've taken the feedback from the webinar. I provided a couple extra maps to them. I know Manorville um, has a bike plan, a plan for a bike route around their town. We've kind of added that in. So now they'll take it back, make the changes that were suggested. 
it should only change about the first nine or ten pages and we can get those back out to you. All of the um, appendices, so the supporting documents will stay the same. So um, this is a document that's um, very close to being complete. Um, we hope that Senator Sunjum and uh, his fellow lawmakers will go ahead and add funding for infrastructure for safe routes to school back to the budget um, this session, and then we would take this planning document and use that to apply for some funds, leverage some funds. If they won't pay for everything, they'll look for <laughs> for some cost sharing, but it'll be an opportunity to um, to move forward. Comprehensive Plan Work Group. I know Sheldon has um, indicated interest in being on the work group. I was up and talked to Mr. McCurns. As soon as <coughs> tax season spiraled down for him, he said we can get together. Yeah, so May 15th now will be the um, day to kick off the comprehensive plan. And if there are other members of the Planning Commission who would like to be part of the working group, just shoot me an email tomorrow and I'll uh, make sure you're on the list and then we'll present that to the city council. Um, and we can also then make sure that we post accordingly. So no business would be conducted. We do want the public to know a forum of the planning commission might be present. So shoot me an email. Uh, over the next two days, you can take two days to decide before we get to the council meeting. If nobody else from planning and zoning is on there, I, I could most likely do it. My okay. work schedule is what it is. So I guess okay. I don't want to make a commitment until I know what kind of schedule you're on. Okay. Okay. All right. I will uh, let the mayor know. I'll be involved. I'm sure I'll be doing meetings. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. So the kickoff is May 15th, and I think it's going to be kind of an all-day event, taking a tour of the city, meeting with staff, and then the working group will meet in the evening. I suppose. Hi. Hello, everyone. Just in time for Highway 57. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, the letter from MnDOT. Yeah, I read it. Didn't surprise me. Um, the city engineer and myself, we <coughs> did have an initial meeting with um, Guy Kohlenhofer. Mark Gann and Jim, why can I remember, Elmquist, <laughs> um, <laughs> to talk to them about um, having some right-of-way available over land that the county currently owns, and that would be south of the um, landfill. They, they own a little chunk in there that has that gas transfer station on there. Um, so they're open to the idea of extending 16th Street Northwest, um, providing right-of-way for that. Um, 